It's almost Halloween, which means it's the perfect time to talk about the nightmare before Christmas. And right after Halloween, everyone's focus is gonna shift to Christmas, which means it's the perfect time to talk about the nightmare before Christmas. So today we're gonna do just that and look at some theories about what the real themes of the classic movie are, as well as the backstory of the characters. Here are dark theories about the nightmare before Christmas that will ruin your childhood. To be fair, if this actually ruins your childhood though, you had a pretty fragile childhood. Before we jump in, if you're new to Screen Rant, Hitting that subscribe button and enabling notifications will let you stay up to date with our future videos. It's not explained exactly what Jack Skellington's origins are or why he's the Pumpkin King. Some fans say that he's just the spirit of Halloween, but some say that he used to be alive and then he used to be a human, which is why he's now a skeleton. That's what we have inside of us. There are a couple of things supporting the theory of him having a past life as a human. For one, there's a line in the game Oogie's Revenge where Jack mentions something about owning a guillotine when he was a boy. There's also a line in his song Jack's Obsession mentioning something he keeps forgetting, like a memory long since passed. So if he was a human at a certain point, that raises the question of how did he die? The main theory going around is that Jack was burned alive. That would explain this weird character entrance where he's on fire and why he doesn't have any skin or flesh. A lot of people seem to think that The Nightmare Before Christmas was directed by Tim Burton. That was actually done by Henry Selick, but Burton did conceive of the film and produce it. So it is his baby. And some people seem to think the movie is actually supposed to parallel his relationship with Disney. Burton used to work as an animator for them in the 80s and has clashed with them several times during the years. His dark and creepy style doesn't exactly fit with the bright, family-friendly Disney. So there's a theory that says that the clashing between Christmas Town and Halloween Town is actually supposed to represent the huge difference in style between the studio and Burton, and basically how they're not a great mix together. And actually, even after the movie came out, the clashes continued. Disney wanted to make a computer-animated sequel, which Burton shot down. They also wanted to make a ride out of it at one of their theme parks, but Burton shot that down as well. If you haven't seen our recent video about dark theories about Corpse Bride, this theory goes that that movie is actually a prequel to The Nightmare Before Christmas. This one also assumes that Jack used to be human, so you kinda need to make that leap to believe this one too. Essentially, fans have theorized that when Victor from Corpse Bride eventually died, he ended up becoming Jack Skellington. They both look kinda similar, and they both have dogs, and you can see why people thought of this. What's even more is that a few years later, when Frank and Weenie came out, fans theorized that that was a prequel to Corpse Bride, since the kid's name is also Victor. Victor and he has a pet dog. So potential double prequel? Here's another theory circulating about the real meaning of the Nightmare Before Christmas. If you haven't heard of cultural appropriation, it's the adoption of elements of one culture by members of another culture. It can involve using their traditions, food, fashion, symbols, technology, language, and songs. Pretty much anything relating to culture. Well, this theory goes that the real message behind the Nightmare Before Christmas is that cultural appropriation is bad. Jack falls in love with Christmas Town and everything he sees there. So he tries to bring all that back to Halloween Town. He does this without permission and without any cultural relativism. That's the principle of regarding the elements of a culture from the viewpoint of that culture itself. And when he does that, it goes horribly. So maybe the real moral of the movie is simply don't hijack other people's cultures, you jerk. And that's it for today's quick list. Let us know in the comments section what you think of these theories and if you know of any others. And if you're watching this on Facebook, you can hit that link to jump over to YouTube and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween and also Merry Christmas.